Hello! In today's video, I'm sharing seven fantastic powder foundations that work really well for mature skin. I have options for every skin type at various price ranges. For a lot of us, powder foundations can be a little tricky. It's great to have a foundation that applies quickly, but it's important that it doesn't look powdery or heavy or make us look dry. And it needs to wear well throughout the day, not break down, or if you have combination oily skin, not make you oilier in your T-zone throughout the day. It can be kind of a tall order, especially if you're over 40 like I am. It's been a while since my last dedicated powder foundations video, and there have been quite a few new releases since then that I've tested out. It's what I do here on my channel. I test out foundations, concealers, powders, all kinds of products. I'll be showing you what these favorites of mine look like on my skin and sharing with you what skin types I think they would be best for. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new, and if you enjoy everyday beauty made easy, be sure you subscribe before the end of this video because that's what my channel's all about. Okay, let's get into what I think are the seven best powder foundations. I'm roughly gonna go from sheer coverage to fullest coverage in terms of order. There will be some overlap, but I'm starting with Milani Conceal and Perfect Shine Proof Powder. This retails for $10.99 for 0.42 ounces. There are nine shades and I am in shade two nude. This has lily extract to help tighten the pores and keep your skin feeling fresh. It also has bamboo powder to help absorb oil and keep you shine free for a really long time. They claim that this gives medium to full coverage. I disagree with that. I think this gives sheer to medium, almost medium full coverage, depending on how I apply it. For any of these powder foundations, the less dense your brush, the less coverage you're going to get. I typically use a brush like this to get a little bit more coverage, but to get the most coverage, I'll use a sponge. I do have a video all about applying powder foundation. I'll link it down below as well as up in a card. I probably need to do an updated version of that. If you want to see an updated version, let me know in the comments down below. I'll also let me know if you tried any of these and if you agree with my thoughts or not. This has a really pretty matte finish on the skin that looks natural and it lasts all day. I do notice that as the day goes on, my natural oils kind of come through. So even though it claims that it's shine proof on my T-zone that gets a little bit oily, I don't necessarily agree with that. Not without blotting at least. I have combination skin that gets oily in the T-zone. I'm pretty normal everywhere else, but I can get some dryness on the perimeter of my face. Because this has such sheer coverage, I like to use this particular powder foundation over a really sheer foundation, tinted moisturizer or BB or CC cream, or on a day when I just want to lightly even out my skin, but I want a little bit of mattifying. I think this is a really nice drugstore option. I've tried a lot of drugstore powder foundations and I have not had a lot of success with the formulations. They either don't apply and look nice or they don't wear well throughout the day. This is one that I really enjoy for a nice sheer to medium, slightly medium full coverage powder foundation. It's versatile for me and gives me a nice natural matte finish. I think if you have normal to oily skin, you would like this. There are limited shades. That is one drawback. Now, if you have dry skin, I'm not sure that this is going to be the choice for you because it can kind of pick up on some dryness if I do have that going on. But normal to oily skin, I think this is a great choice. This is the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self-Refreshing Custom Finish Powder Foundation. That's a really long name. This retails for $45 for 0.31 ounces. There are 16 shades and I am in the shade 240 quarts. The packaging is a little bit bulky, so it's not the most portable powder foundation. This has a technology in it that protects your face from oil, sweat, humidity, and facial movement. This has almost a creamy texture to it, and I would say this gives light to just under medium coverage. This feels really lightweight and gives a beautiful natural finish. It evens the skin out nicely while providing some coverage, and it's just really flattering and smoothing. This is a powder foundation that allows my natural oils to come through during the day. I personally do have to blot with it sometimes, but it lasts nicely throughout the day. That doesn't bother me because my makeup does stay looking nice. All of the powder foundations in this video are really nice for mature skin because they're flattering, they wear nicely, they don't emphasize anything bad. This one in particular, I think you'll really enjoy if you have combination to dry skin and you're wanting something that's really flattering if you have some fine lines, but you're still wanting something that applies quickly. If you have very oily skin and you're not wanting to deal with something, 
something that allows your natural oils to come through, I probably wouldn't go for this one, but for everyone else, I think this is a real winner. Since I'm going in coverage order, some of you might find this next one a little odd, but hear me out. This is MAC Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation. This is $36 for 0.52 ounces. There are 48 shades. I am in the shade NC25. I can use NC30 in the summertime. This is a very smooth powder foundation that can take you all the way from sheer to medium full natural looking coverage. This powder foundation is so customizable. If I use a brush, I can get a nice sheer finish that evens out my skin nicely, or I can build it up with a sponge and take it from medium to medium full coverage. It doesn't look powdery. It doesn't look heavy. It looks beautiful on my pores. It smooths my skin, evens everything out, covers well, and gives a natural matte finish that just looks lovely. It feels really lightweight on the skin. I rarely have to block with this during the day and even when I do I never look greasy and that is an issue with me with a lot of powder foundations in my t-zone where I do get oily especially in my hot humid weather here in New Orleans many powder foundations start to break down in my t-zone they'll either wear away completely or I just start looking really greasy this one is always reliable. This is one of the longest wearing powder foundations I've ever tried while still looking natural and beautiful while being long wearing. And it also doesn't require maintenance during the day. I think anyone with any skin type would get along with this powder foundation. If you have dry skin and you've tried this, I would love to hear from you down below. I 100% think normal to oily skin people would love this. And it's never emphasized my dry areas personally. I just think this is beautiful. And I think there's a misconception that it's going to look heavy. It really doesn't. This is one of my favorite powder foundations of all time and it has been for a really long time. My next mature skin powder foundation favorite is the Fenty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation. This retails for $36 for 0.32 ounces. There are 50 shades and I am in the shade 230. Just like the name says, this is supposed to give you a soft matte finish. It's also supposed to be sweat, crease, and humidity resistant, just like the Shiseido that I talked about a while ago. Where it differs from the Shiseido is that I can get light to medium full coverage with the Fenty. This is also very smooth and it performs well on all areas of my face, the dry areas, the oily areas. It just looks beautiful and it's really smoothing on pores. It feels lightweight. It lasts a really long time and doesn't emphasize oiliness or shininess or greasiness or dryness if I have that going on. I don't need a setting spray for it to look great all day. That's another thing I haven't mentioned and I probably should have is that in order for a lot of powder foundations to last a long time on my skin, I typically need to use Use a primer and a setting spray. And I will do that for increased longevity if I'm having a particularly long day. But for these in this video, I don't need to do that. I want to say this would work well for all skin types because of how well it's performed for me on all areas of my skin, no matter how my skin has been performing. But because this gives a matte finish, I would almost want to say if you have dry skin, maybe go for the Shiseido or for one of the powder foundations I'm going to talk about here in a second. Just to be safe, I'm going to say if you have oily skin to almost dry, maybe with no surface dehydration, this would work for you. Every time I've worn this, I've just been stunned at how beautiful it looks, how long it lasts, especially for being a powder foundation. It just doesn't look like a powder foundation or act like one. I feel like most of these kind of are the same way. That's why they're in this video and this one is like that as well. When I first tried this a long time ago, I, I thought it was gonna be heavier than it is and it's just beautiful. My next favorite is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Blurring Powder Foundation. It's $38 for 0.38 ounces. There are 30 shades and I am in the shade Y305. Now this, like the Shiseido, I'll put them together here for a size comparison. Not my favorite packaging. They're just a little bit bulky if you want some portability. This is, however, their signature tin packaging that they put a lot of their products in. I read somewhere that Scott Barnes use this on JLo at the Super Bowl, which says a little something about it. This is supposed to be a full coverage blurring powder with a lifelike matte finish, and it's supposed to wear for up to 12 hours. Now, I don't think it's 
full coverage. I think it's buildable from medium to medium full coverage, and it gives me a natural soft matte finish that smooths my skin. It looks great on pores. I don't have to touch up a lot with it. It's lightweight and it wears great all day. It kind of gives me everything I need from a powder foundation, and it looks great on my skin no matter what my skin is doing, even if it's at its driest. Now, if I'm having a really, really long day, I will use a setting spray with it and a primer. I think this works really really well across all skin types. So if you have dry skin, if you have oily skin, I think this would be one that would work really, really well for you. It is beautiful and it's really flattering. You can't ask for much more than that. This is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation in a Powder. This retails for $14.99 for 0.31 ounces. There are 12 shades and I am in the shade 130 True Beige. By the way, if you want to know any of my foundation shades, I do link my foundation shade matches that live over on my blog down below in my description boxes. There's also a concealer match shade list if you're interested in knowing what shade I am in concealers as well. If you think you're my shade twin, if you also have light, medium, neutral, warm skin, a lot of you appreciate having that as a reference, so I wanted to point it out. So this is supposed to give full matte coverage coverage and be waterproof and sweatproof. Once again, I disagree with the coverage claim. I think this gives medium to medium full coverage at best, which is fine with me on a daily basis. I really don't feel like I need more than medium full coverage. If it gives more, that's great, but I'm fine with medium full. This gives a nice natural matte finish that looks really beautiful on pores and feels lightweight. I don't need a setting spray for this powder foundation to wear nicely all day. Even on a long day, it just wears beautifully. Now, when I had dry dryness, I had to work a little bit at patting those down with a sponge in order for those dry areas not to be emphasized. So I would say this is a really great powder foundation for those of you with normal to oily skin, as long as you don't have any surface dehydration. If you have dry skin, I would skip this one, but normal to oily skin, I think you could really like it. This powder foundation is so beautiful for mature skin and it's such a hidden gem. I rarely hear anyone talk about it. This is the Wander Beauty Wander Lust powder foundation. It is $40 for 0.31 ounces. The sponge sits here and it's got this little plastic flip out thing, which is a little bit different than some other powder foundations we've seen. There are 11 shades. I'm in the shade medium. This has aloe leaf extract to moisturize skin and restore suppleness and hibiscus flower extract extract to even out skin tone and increase the look of skin elasticity. So this is actually supposed to be very good for mature skin. This is designed to be hydrating, lightweight, silky smooth, and give a natural matte finish. It's also talc free. And I would agree with all of those things. My skin feels really good when I wear this. It's very lightweight. It's just beautiful on my skin. I'd say this gives medium up to full coverage and it gives a natural matte matte finish that I think can look beautiful on any skin type. It's not a flat matte. It's smoothing on pores. It lasts a long time on my skin. I don't get overly shiny with it during the day. It's very finely milled and smoothing. I think this is great for all skin types. It's just very flattering. It's a really overlooked powder foundation that's fantastic for mature skin. Let me know your favorite powder foundation in the comments down below, and let me know if you've tried any of these that I shared in today's video and what your thoughts are. If you're hunting for the perfect foundation, I have my top foundations playlist linked here for you where I share favorite foundations. There are several videos in there you can check out where I share different foundations that I love of all different types. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.